Uh, I'm actually here for this reason right here, if you'd like to read that, sir. Well, there's quite a few reasons in there, but it's more concise than I can recite without my coffee. Does anyone in particular you'd like to see here, sir? Well, I mean, technically this isn't even the right department, but I'm an expert in game theory, and as such, I've developed this sign to basically absorb some resources from the department here, and uh, it's been quite effective. This is my third day visiting. Uh, the first day, uh, I did end up with a uh, extended uh, interaction with DHS and a few other departments, uh, officers from other departments, uh, temporarily arrested. Thereafter, we had a nice, friendly conversation. Everybody was pretty warm with me and friendly afterwards, and uh, they understood that I'll probably come back here and do this again. So, so this is your third day, you said? This is my third day in a row, Consecutive day? Uh, yeah, consecutive. third consecutive day. Uh, so there's no one in particular you want to talk to that's in the State Department? Not within the State Department, sir. I'm strictly okay. here to use my skills in game theory to absorb department resources. Uh, my, my actual department that I would like to speak with is someone in the United States Department of Justice, but I've had extensive communications with that department for the last two years. I've lost all confidence that there's anyone in there that actually cares about the fact that the department violated my right to equal protection under the law. As such, I don't think it's reasonable for me to waste my time going over there at this point. So I'm, I'm strictly here in Washington, D.C. to educate people on various matters relating to U.S. federal policy, use of the legal system, to absorb resources belonging to the U.S. government by basically getting employees to talk about the fact that there's some guy out here flying the bird. I'm also circumventing the NSA's ability to suppress data online by getting my picture taken an average of a thousand times in front of the White House on a daily basis, which has actually been quite effective. And I'm using the increased traffic on my website to hopefully augment an international job search so that once I finally figure out how to get out of the USA, I'll have a job and I won't have to come back. And you mind if I ask your name? Chance Addison, sir. Chance? Yes, sir. C-H-A-N-C-E. That's correct. Addison is A-D-D. Uh, what were we talking about again? Uh, 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 Addison. A-D-D-I-S-O-N. -S yeah. So how long do you plan on being here today, this morning? Uh, just until the employees have gone through, and it kind of looks like you've got a diplomatic visit going, so I might leave after it appears as though there's uh, events of less significance occurring. So, uh, you know, I'm so, a little opportunist in that. So you're going to be here for a while, you're saying? Well, I, you're telling me then that they're going to be here for a while? I'll I be no here idea. for a while. I have no idea. I well, I, you know, if it looks like there's something significant happening, I'll be here. At least until I really need my morning coffee. And they already have your information already. So yes, sir. Uh, the first day I was interviewed by a uh, officer who was in bad need of a shave. I bet that points out who that was. I mean, he was, if you put some scruffy clothes on that guy, he'd look like a homeless man. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty well known. There's a, a, yesterday, actually, a couple of DNS of DHS officers came back, two of them which were there in attendance on the first day, and uh, gave me a short interview, double checking, making sure I'm okay, you know asking me if I needed any help, any, any mental health services, and I pointed out to him that I'm actually probably in better mental condition than most of the employees working for the U.S. government based on the looks on their faces when they're going to work. So, I, you know, I'm all right as far as that goes. I have no, no intention of entering the building, no intention of breaking any laws, no intention of hurting myself or others. I'm not armed. I have renounced violence. I do not condone violence. So... Okay. But I'm, I'm well known to uh, at least a few employees that are running around here at this point. Okay. And, and you, where are you living now? In my car. In your car. Where is that? Outside of the district. I was uh, awoke multiple times by D.C. Metropolitan Police, and it seemed as though someone had given them instructions to do so, thinking that, you know, getting me short on uh, sleep was going to actually change anything, which it did not. Gosh, you're blocking my view now, darn it. It's kind of ruining my game. Can I? Can we move over on the other side of the booth, sir? Does that be all right? 
I prefer you stay right here if you don't mind. Well, I understand, but I do have a right to protest and yeah, be seen. So can we move just over there if you don't mind? Thanks. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Morning, sir. Uh, also, yes, officer, to the left. officer, yesterday the uh, two DHS officers did inquire uh, as to whether I was communicating with employees, and I did tell them I do give people a good morning or you look great or something like of that nature, and they were curious to know if anyone was responding to me, and I told them that generally no, it was just polite hellos or, or whatnot, so they were concerned to make sure that I was not interacting hostily, and I do not do that. I try to be the most polite man in Washington, D.C., especially in light of my finger. Because obviously it would be counterproductive to what I'm doing if I were to be hostile, angry, any of that stuff. So I'm, I am actually probably the most polite man in Washington, D.C. And in fact, I don't even litter, sir. <laughs> I mean... And, and you came all the way from... Washington, Washington State, State, sir. Yeah. You drove all the way? That's right. I've actually done a round trip once this year to come check out the scene and then came back. And uh, I don't have the resources to go back and forth a whole lot, so I'm here. How long have you been in D.C. now? Uh, this is the 37th day of my protest. I don't remember how, exactly how many days I was here prior to initiating, but roughly six weeks now on this particular visit. And I spent about a week prior uh, here in the district. So. You haven't made any contact with anybody? Uh, well, I mean, you I... Been to DOJ? Not, not yet. I mean, I, I went there. I did uh, ask if there was a path to um, entering the building legally. The uh, guard on duty explained that, no, you have to have an appointment. He did give me the phone number. I did attempt to call multiple times and was directed to the mail room. So, I mean, it, you know, after I sent them copious legal communications by way of U.S. Postal Service certified delivery return receipt required in accordance with the federal rules of procedure. And so I felt like the U.S. Department of Justice has given me no indication that they're actually concerned about the fact that I documented that an officer of the law committed against the U.S. government and myself a felony in the year 2012. That was uh, March 6th at about 10.30 a.m. The failure, the, the failure to act was the felony in question. And it did, in fact, devalue my former business to the point where I did go out of business eventually. Luckily for me, after I renounced U.S. citizenship Sorry, using... Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Okay, stop my screen. 